Hi, this is Jack Slocum with Option Alpha. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit more fun. We're going to be building a bot. But before we build that bot, let's jump in and take a look at this new research we produced, which we call pegging. And what it is, is it takes a look at a certain time of day. In this case, 10.30, 11, 11.30, 12 noon, 12.30, all the way through 3.30 p.m. And it takes a look at what the price was at that time and then it calculates the percentage of times that the final closing price was within a 0.1% range of the price that it was at noon, for example, or 0.2% or 0.3% or 0.4% or 0.5%. And it calculates that over the last 30 days and gives you the percentages. It calculates that over the last 90 days. And if you look here, it calculates that also over the last 180 days. So if we take a look at the data here for noon, we can see that the price actually closes within 0.3%, 56% of the time, 0.4%, 63% of the time, and 0.5%, 73% of the time over the last 30 days. If we look at the last 90 days, we can see those percentages are slightly higher. And if we look at 180 days, it's even higher. Up here at 0.5% from noon is 80% of the time it's finished within a 0.5% range of the price that it was at noon. The bot that we're gonna build is gonna to try to take advantage of this exact scenario. So it's gonna look first at 0.5% and see can we get a 100% reward risk ratio. And if you look at this, 73% of the time it would win and 100% reward risk ratio, that's a humongous advantage for us. Even at 56% of the time with 100% reward risk ratio, so a coin flip with 56% chance of winning, again, this is a great position to get into and I'm gonna make that trade as many times as possible. So the one negative about this is sitting there and watching the market at noon every day. I don't wanna do that, I have things to do. So we're gonna create a bot that does it automatically and we're gonna do it from scratch. So the first thing I'm gonna click here is new bot. I'm gonna create an empty bot. And I've already named this bot the Peggy Bank. We're going to actually trade it live in the Tradier account, and I'm going to give it $2,500 to trade with. All right. First thing I'm going to do over here is I'm going to set it so it's only opening one position per day. Keep in mind this is a zero DTE bot. It's going to trade one position per day over an extended period of time, hoping that that math and the percentages that we just looked at hold up and over time it'll be a profitable bot. So I'm gonna set it to continuous scanning so it's looking every minute for one of these opportunities. And now let's build this scanner automation. I'm gonna say new scanner. Let's say IC scanner, which would stand for iron condor. And just set 100% on there so that we remember that. So the first thing I'm gonna look at is whether or not today is an actual good day to be trading. So for example, I don't want to trade this on a day when at 2 p.m. the FOMC is going to be meeting and causing a bunch of volatility. So the first thing I'm going to check is there an FOC meeting today. And I'm going to say not. We don't want it to trade when there's an FOMC meeting. The next thing I'm going to check is does the market actually, is it a full market day? So is it going to close at 4 p.m. today? And this is a new recipe. It's not currently available on the site. So if you try to recreate this bot, this particular check you won't be able to make. It will be there in our new release, which is coming within the next two weeks. And you'll be able to do that as well. And the last thing that I'm going to check is that the bot can actually open a position. I'm going to click here. I'm going to say, Today is a trading day. Give it a friendly message. All right, the next thing I'm gonna check is to make sure that the position that we're trying to trade has a 100% reward risk ratio. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go step by step. The very first one I'm gonna try to, to trade is the 0.5% out of the money. So I'm gonna check that the opportunity, which will be an iron condor, that is 0.5% out of the money. So the symbol is going to be SPX. The expiration is going to be exactly zero days. The long put will be $5 below short put. Exactly.
exactly. The short put, um, 0.5% below the underlying price or lower. And the short call will be 0.5% above the underlying price or higher. And the long call will be $5 above the long call leg. Exactly. All right. Reward risk ratio is greater than 100%. So if that's true, then we're gonna go ahead and open the iron condor position. I'm gonna use that same one. And I'm gonna create a new input. And if you haven't ever built one of these bots before, an input is kind of like a variable. And by creating this input, this will give us the ability to set what the position size is outside of this automation as part of the bot settings. And we'll go through and I'll show you exactly how to do that in a moment. So the first thing I'm gonna do is set this position size to one contract. And then for the pricing, I'm gonna set it so that it is allowed to slip a nickel from the mid price. So that'll keep us as close as possible to that 100% reward risk ratio or higher. Um, I'm gonna check a few of these, make sure the bot has enough available capital, that the bot can has less than one open position currently, has an open position today, and last but not least, the reward risk ratio. This is a secondary check just to make sure. So the first one we did over here, um, we'll check that this position has 100% reward risk ratio, but if there's any few seconds delays and the pricing changes in between that time frame between when this trade gets executed, this secondary check will prevent it from going through if those prices have changed. So let's recap real quick what we have. We check if today is a trading day and then we check is the iron condor that is 0.5% out of the money offering 100% reward risk ratio. If it is, then we get into it. If it isn't, then we're gonna click here. Then we're gonna run another decision. We're gonna check whether the opportunity, and I'm gonna reuse this shortcut here because that'll save us a little bit of time. We're gonna set this one to 0.4% out of the money now. We're gonna set this one to 0.4%. So if the 0.5% one is not offering 100% reward risk ratio, that's okay. We're gonna to try to open the 0.4% one instead. All right, we have that one. So we're gonna repeat this same process of opening a position. I'm going to use this shortcut here for the 0.4% one, which fills in all these fields, saving us a bunch of time. We're going to set the position size here. Again, we're going to let it slip to a nickel beyond the mid price. And we're going to set the same entry options here and down here, at least 100%. And save. All right, and we have one more here that we're going to need to add. I'm going to jump here. Opportunity reward risk ratio. Change this one now to 0.3. So this one's obviously our last choice. It's the closest to the money. Um, when volatility is low and the price isn't moving, we'll be able to at least get into one of these as well, which still has a 56% chance according to the historical data, which we're hoping is going to hold up for us. So we'll set this to 100%. All right, now we add the open position as well. So you see here, 0.3%, we're gonna choose that one. We're gonna give it the same position size. We're gonna give the price, let it slip a nickel from the mid price. And check those boxes again, and make sure our reward risk is greater than 100%. We are good to go. All right, so there's our scanner. This is going to, we'll review this real quick. It's gonna make sure it's a trading day, uh, make sure it's not an FOMC day, and make sure it's a full market day. Then it's gonna check, is the 0.5% out of the money SPX Iron Condor offering 100% reward risk ratio? If it is, we're gonna open it. And then it's gonna repeat that check to see if the 0.4% is offering it. And then last, it's gonna check is the 0.3% offering it. So all three of those put us into a trade that's favorable according to the historical research, but the 0.5% is obviously the best one and the one we really wanna get into. 
So let's go ahead and save this. And now if we look here, we're gonna set this to a scanner so that it runs nonstop. And then here's the next part, is I'm gonna set this so it doesn't actually start running until noon. And that makes us line up, if you look here, with this 12 p.m. data, as the day goes on, the numbers get better and better. If you look within the description for this video, I uh, will include a link that you can download this Excel spreadsheet and use it for yourself. It's really great research and I'm hoping you guys get some value from it. So let's jump back over here to this bot. I'm gonna set it for noon or later. The last thing we need to do here is set the position size. I'm gonna go ahead and let this bot risk up to $500 per position. That's how the other one is set up as well. I think that's a good value. It would have to lose five positions in a row in order to bust out. And considering the percentages we saw before, I'm optimistic that's not gonna happen. And this bot is ready to trade. I'm trying to think of anything else we might have to do. I don't think there is anything other than turning it on. So there's not much time left in the day. I doubt it's gonna be able to find a position we're gonna set it to this piggy right here. And now we have the Peggy Bank bot, which is ready to trade. All right, that's it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed building this bot. I'll keep you updated with how it's doing as part of this series. If you have any questions about the bot or ideas or suggestions for it, please ask in the comments. On behalf of the OA team, we love you guys. God bless.